Aim high, fly, uh, fly, fly, fight, win. That is the motto that Cadet Commander Peyton Bogle will be saying over and over when he becomes an official member of the Air Force. Until then, he is capitalizing on all the opportunities he is being given as a cadet, a goal that has earned him recognition. I, learned, uh, I, I headed out to learn more about his accomplishments today. Take a look. Cadet Commander Peyton Bogle of the Mercer County Composite Squadron of the Civil Air Patrol received the Amelia Earhart Award. This award marks the completion of Phase 3 and the mastery of 11 or 16 cadet achievements. Bogle tells us that he had to complete a lot of tests to earn this award. Bogle was presented this award by special guest U.S. Senator Shelley Moore Capito. He has exhibited great leadership skills and academic skills, and uh, it's, it's only 3% of cadets uh, are awarded this award, so I was really happy to give it to him. Bogle tells us that this award was a surprise to him. He didn't expect to be honored in such a big way. All he knew going into the ceremony was where to be and when to be there. It definitely makes me feel important, feel great about myself, um, knowing that uh, there's that great recognition that comes with it. Um, just nice knowing that uh, we have people to support me along the way, um, especially so high throughout the government. Senator Capito says that Bogle is just one of the many bright spots that this squadron has to offer the United States. And I can guarantee you pretty much that almost every single, every single one of those young men and women who were here with us today is going to have a leadership uh, skill, a leadership position in the military, in business, uh, in their community. Uh, those are the kinds of skills that uh, it's fun for me to see them because I, I see the future and the future's bright. Capito was also touring the city of Bluefield today. She got to see some of the transportation improvements throughout the city. She also made a stop at Bluefield State University to check out their revitalized health care training facility. These are two of the Bluefield projects that she invested in. Reporting live in the studio, Caleb Oaks, 59 News.